Hello, Hello there. there, and welcome back to the Epic Frodo YouTube channel. My name is Will. With me, as always, is Mr. Jack. Thanks for having me. First time on. Cheers, Will. So, Stephen Chow is back for the fourth time, Jack. We're doing Out of the Dark, which is... I thought it's his closest to a horror film, and since it's Halloween, why not do it? Master Chow is back, is he? He is. Um, this is his earliest one, 95. So I think this is before all of the other ones, so... We really are going backwards in time with Stephen Chow. So, but we kind of got an idea of what his films are, so hopefully we'll find this one funny. Because there's yeah, a lot no. of all the comments say you've got to be from that part of the world to understand a lot of the humour. So maybe we'll find it funny, maybe we won't, but we find always other ones funny, so. Is this the Stephen Chow Brigade? Salute our Lord and Saviour. Oh, Jesus. Look at that one on the left. I thought that was real. Yeah, it does look a bit creepy, actually, doesn't it? Here we go! Is this you in your bedroom at night? It's very 90s. It's gonna be about a ghost in it, this. Mm. Can tell. Is it about a ghost? I think so. Do you think it's actually going to be really scary? Do you think it's going to be like, I don't know, what's like a horror comedy? Like, sort of like in the shadows or like, mm. I don't know. Eat! Ah, oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the guys. It was um, Iron Head, or his name is. Oh, yeah! Oh, what teep! That noise. The first teep uh, of the day. Jesus, this is moving quick. <laughs> That's a pretty cool shot. It's like a Wes Anderson film. <laughs> Crush me, come on. They are quite funny, aren't they, these films? They are. It's very slapstick, isn't it? Like, it reminds me of sort of, I don't know, like, what to compare it to from the Western world. It, it, it... Nothing, really. There he is. I think that's Stephen Chow. Oh, is he in this one as well? Yeah, there, there he is. Wait, Oh, yeah, ghost or is he a ghost catcher? I think he's the ghost hunter. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not eating shady areas. What crimes are committing? Eating chicken in a shady area. Do you think the boy's possessed by the gran? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's that shutter on that I door. Say, is that normal? If the doors, like apartments, have like a shutter and a door. Let him on. See, it's you're right. It's got very like it's supposed to be scary, but it's like almost supposed to be like mystical as well. I don't know, like creep. Those shrines creep me out a little bit, like that. She's gonna move the picture. Yes, and that's look at that for a shot. That just is. That's actually quite a creepy noise. God, look at that. She's going in. Oh, spit. She is relaxing hard. <laughs> oh, we've got poltergeist vibes. I like that. Oh, that is oh, cool. That is cool, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, the TV's moving. <laughs> oh, see that little, see that little scatter coming towards her. 
Okay, got some biceps, this kid. Dead at the chow. He's got a blade. This is the origin story. Oh, she's face set. Got it right in the secret set. Did you see that? He is like a live action cartoon. Leo. So he's got like Emperor Palpatine powers now. $500 for a taxi. Where's he going? Spain. Oh, she went straight for a flying teeth then. Oh, so he's like an escape mental guy. Yeah. Bloody outfit. Yeah. She looks like she's dressed like um, Natalie Portman in Leon the Professional. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want to go? Actually, say that. So, Stephen Chow. He's called Leo. He's got the hat and the sunglasses, the trench coat, and the fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's a reference Stephen Chow wanted to be scouted by Spielberg. Hmm. So it's Leon the Professional and Nasty Portman. I look at this shot, it's just him just bringing her back and forth. <笑><笑><笑> I got one of the lets. Proper hat. Should I do my beard like that? Yeah, that's like my mic. He literally does. It's a lot of security for an apartment block. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a military compound. That it uses very creative shots and mixes colour really well, doesn't mm. it? I was gonna say, like, I think whenever there's like a red light, it means there's like a haunted thing going on. She's not suckling money. This is really a there's some good comedy in this. It's quite similar to Country Hustle, actually. <laughs> good logic, but... 
Do you look then? Do you look completely different? Oh, jeez. Jesus. Yeah, that's quite quite uh, graphic, that. <laughs> So guys taking like 10 life stabs with a bullet wound. <laughs> oh, he's, oh cry she just woke up now. Oh, oh is she a double st <laughs> I love ragdoll stuff, it's so funny. There you go. She's back. Go walking in the back. <laughs> He's really going through the works, isn't he? He's alive, she's alive. <laughs> just so random, like that's like a 10 minute scene just with them like resuscitating a dead person. Master! That's a good joke. <laughs> It's a Brazzers scene. What is that? <laughs> so now we know he puts this guy in all of his films. He's been in all of them, hasn't he, that we've seen? Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Double more teasers. <laughs> it's just so quick, look at the bandage on his hands. Oh my god. <laughs> there is some comedy in this, it's very like British as well. <laughs> oh. He's getting possessed. Oh, it's with Star Wars. The blue milk. The milk. Yeah. <laughs> David Bowie. They all look fabulous. Are you peeing? I <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a big kung fu fight scene. I wonder if we're gonna have one now. Oh, I didn't know She just killed him. <laughs> I thought that was the end of the film. What? <laughs> I hope this guy lives by the end of the film. He's been through too much. 
Oh, that's quite creepy. Oh. Is that something from Ring? Beard. I love that his name's Beard. You can see that the door opened, but the micro was still on. And red lights. That's a good effect. Oh, getting hot in there. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! That was some good practical yeah. effects then as well. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so big. <laughs> So it's all an illusion. All the blood and everything, but they actually did die out of fear. That's why he's trying to teach them to be strong. You see that? Oh, see the flower. Oh! He was hitting that from the back. Do you see that? Amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not an efficient wipe. Oh. That's a cool effect. That's why I call um idea that it's not real. It's all in your imagination. Oh. Oh. I think he's the funniest. Look at that body roll. Look at that axe. What is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, she's slipping. Yeah, no, she's slight. <laughs> that was actually quite disgusting. It was. I reminds you of the shot from the Warriors, you know, in the. Say, yeah. Yeah. A shiv! Oh, she got she draw first. Ready? Oh, it's me. Ready. That's cool. That guy must be like really famous just for being Stephen Chow's friend who dresses up as a woman in all his films. Yeah. Holy Grail. Oh, oh what a placement. Chow is rolling in it. I love a Malteser. A small geezer. Shows you, shows you where that laddie mons are. <laughs> That's quite cool, actually. I don't know. Yes. Got some leather face action coming up now, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. See oh that? my god, that yeah. literally is, look! Is the captain gonna save himself? Ooh. Is it real or is it still an illusion? Oh! oh. 
把层地狱啊，再俾阎罗王浸你猪笼啊，喂轮雨先啊，再流翻上嚟，乖王后上工场嚟，鞭尸啊！喂，跟住啊，救命！笑咩笑？炒硬你啊！真系我，我哋真系可以做 this film。Yeah, I know. Very violent. Oh, there we go. I was, I thought he was going to pull out a gun. Oh no, he's about to peel it. It's going to get dangerous. Oh, the classic. That looked really real. It literally is just like, what is he going to say next? And yeah, what what little things are you going to do on the fly to save the day, you know? Hey, one of his flying hats. <laughs> is. Oh, see the wiring of one of them just like yeet up there, look like he hurt himself a bit. <laughs> They're definitely on wires there. They must be so yeah. high up there. There's obviously a crane, but yeah. Oh, quite a cool ending, actually. It is. Good hat spinning around. Oh, no. La demon. Plot twist. No! Oh, no. The true leather face. It is. In the suit as well. It's pretty woman leather face. Oh no, is this the first film where we're going to see Stephen Chow die? Don't cry, Jack. Oh, the demon! That was a jump scare. That's a good look. I might rock that. I think I look good with that. Don't you think I could move to one? Tell my letter, don't get to me, Chatter, could him to find a girl. His icon, good home, Google. Go go, Pelo, her little cook, some tongue, the man, some tongue. Has he like entered her body now, maybe like his spirit? I don't know. I feel like she's using the flower to talk to him. Me farming, but I don't fall your ball. Tall, I feel young. They're quite dangerous on those shots, aren't they? I know. Like they just toppled forwards. I think that one is it's just the ground there. You see what I mean? Like. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, see. Gonna be like thing from Ghost, you know, the clay pot behind. I thought that I thought that was I thought that was really good, honestly. Really? That, that is, yeah, like in the sense of like that's not a brilliant like it's not a brilliant like any like, aspects of that like fantastic film, but like oh, every single one of his films I've watched I've sort of enjoyed. Like he's brought his style to it. And again, so short. It's an hour and nineteen. That's just something you can just stick on. It's not the greatest thing in the world. And again, half of it we didn't even know what was going on. Like the way that he sequences his shots and how random they are, um, mm. sort of is his own little unique style almost, you know. And again, I don't know, we might have missed some more humour that could be local to the area, I'm not sure. But um but yeah, it, it was it was a lot it was very random, like more so than Kung Fu Us all of them, even like God of um Cookery. I feel like with this one, it was less. Uh, I feel like we got the humor more in this one compared to God of Cookery. It felt a lot less like localized, as in like referencing things from that culture. Whereas this one, it felt like it was just much more like slapstick comedy, which translates to a much wider audience. Like yeah. that, I would say like the first half an hour is the funniest one up with Kung Fu Hustle. I'd say I feel like it kind of dragged a little bit in the middle when he was like teaching him how to be like not scared of the things and like that. But then it went end, off, it got didn't good. it? It was yeah. quite random kind of lost a little like a uh, direction of where it was going but um yeah it was actually really funny like i laughed a lot in that there was actually like some genuine good jokes as well like you said very random but like, you don't know what's going to happen in the next scene like it could just be like what was it it was just like they're about to leave and it's like is it racing today and it was like what 
and he just brings out he a newspaper. He kept saying that as well, just, just like, before any scene with Chow. It is just like, what's he going to do? Like, like you wouldn't be surprised if he just gets a kettle and he's like, this is now my mother. And like, everyone's just like, what? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, and you would just be like, okay, well, this is Stephen Chow. Like, but it's almost like he can carry stuff as well. Like, he can then make that funny. Yeah, and it's, I like how it's just like, we were saying at the beginning, there's nothing like it. I've never seen anyone like him before, and I like that. That it's just it's him. Like if you know it's him when you watch one of his films. So I feel like we've watched four of his films now. We know what to expect going into another one. Yeah, plot wise, it was just a bit random. As in, like it didn't really have like a very tight. Like, it did have a good story of there's a haunting. The two people that killed the person get killed and then haunt the people that have tried to get justice for them. That's quite a good story. And I like the yeah. idea of how like none of it was real. It was all in their mind. If you're scared. I feel like one thing that he does, it does let him down as well, especially because the others were longer, but this is quite a short film. So when he does want to go down these arcs where, as I said, just like the resuscitation scene, it's funny. It is funny, but like quite a few scenes went on for too long as well. And then you're just like quick rush ending. like, And it's. I do find it, that it, with some of his stuff, he does bring in like a, like how he got stabbed and then how he survived it. He does kind of just like brush things under the carpet with just a line of dialogue and you just kind of have to accept it, if that makes sense. It's, it's, some people are saying this is like his, his horror going into it was like his horror comedy kind of thing there were certain parts that were quite scary like I thought the part when the old woman was trapped in the TV and was chasing started running in the TV and the TV started moving towards her that was actually quite scary and when the guy started melting who is your MVP then young William my MVP for Out of the Dark is Wong Yat Fei I just said every I, we normally give it to Stephen Chow but because he didn't direct it or write this one I feel like a uh, he just makes me laugh every time I see him on screen. He's, I think he's the funniest character, one of the best actors in it, one of the best comedic actors. My MVP is going to be a surprise. It's Stephen Chow. Um, I just four times for this film as well. Yeah, it's, it just is though because he just made it again with the build up to waiting to see it, and then when he came into the scenes. Go ahead and check. What is your score for Out of the Dark? I'm going to give Out of the Dark a 69 out of 100. So I'm going to give Out of the Dark a 72 which is the same score I gave God of Cookery because I think they're both equal maybe we'll do a, a fifth Stephen Chow movie very soon who knows well there you have it everybody a 69 from Jack and a 72 from me for Out of the Dark if you enjoyed the video and want to see more be sure to press that like button and that subscribe button if you're new and while you're at it why not follow us on Instagram and Twitch and if you want to see our falling video be sure to follow the link to our Patreon down below me and Jack will be back with another video very soon Cheerio.